Hi, I'm Mark Hart, personal trainer at Have a Heart, based in Eastbourne, East Sussex. At Have a Heart, we've had several success stories. One of our clients, she's lost over a stone and a half in six months. She's feeling a lot healthier and fitter. Another client, she came to me very timid. Started personal training, now she feels a lot more confident to start doing circuit classes with us. I've run for a long time, done lots of marathons, doing circuits with Mark really helps out, tightens up the core, gets everything else working. Brilliant. Mark Hart of Have a Heart is a great personal trainer, he's inspirational, motivational, and just fantastic at everything that he does. I just finished a circuit class with Mark and uh, really highly recommend it to anyone that wants to get fit. Very inspiring guy, never makes you feel uncomfortable, I uh, really enjoy the class. And, uh, First session's free, I believe. I've been involved in the fitness industry for over eight years. I've always enjoyed keeping myself fit and staying healthy. So from that, I've started to have a heart. At Have a Heart, I offer personal training, circuit group training, fitness camp, and also family fitness fun to get families active and stay healthy. Councillor Alan Shuttleworth, how are you today? I am absolutely delighted because we've got an absolutely wonderful event here today. Massive crowd, the biggest and best Chime Awards Fun Day ever. So much going on, so much to enjoy. Fantastic here, lots of the youngsters actually having a go at our Eastbourne's Got Talent and the park run is running as we speak and they're all about to come back with their medals. Wonderful Bronze Age Festival over there. So much going on and as I speak, Harren is arriving with his curry. This is the 11th year. Yeah. And why has it been going on for 11 years? What makes it so popular? What makes, makes it come back every single year? I think we've got a very special community here in the Shine Water area. There's a very good community spirit. There's some wonderful people who work really hard to help put this event on. Some of whom have been doing it since the event actually started. And I think well, as you look around, there are so many different groups who are supporting the event. And it's really, it's a team partnership uh, event and, and it grows from strength to strength every year. This year is definitely the biggest and the best so far, but obviously next year we'll want to make it even more spectacular. <laughs> Get yourself over. You've got a bit of a voice on you, good or bad. You know, I can see a few people that have got dodgy ones. Hello, I found a dog that's just sat on my foot. <laughs> she wants no to go to you. Councillor Janet Coles, the, uh, the Mayor, how are you? I'm absolutely fine, how about you? I'm excellent, I'm very, very good. Are you, are you going to give karaoke a go this afternoon? Uh, you haven't heard my voice, so maybe not, but I'll listen to everybody else. <laughs> I'm sure you're fantastic nonetheless. So, listen, you're going to be opening the Shine Water Fun Day for us this I afternoon, am. aren't you? Yes. Um, it's the 11th annual Fun Day here, so isn't I'm it? Told. Yeah. So you're told. It's been running for a long, long time and it's obviously a very, very big event here in Shine Water, the biggest of the year, I'd like to suggest. And um, what do you think of it? Is this your first time here? I've been to Shine Water, but I've never been to the park before, and I think this is absolutely splendid. You bumped into something.
Simon Cow. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. And uh, what did he say? He said, Leo, Leo, I'm amazing. Really? Yeah. He said I should have my own TV show. Really? Yeah. Autumn, so how about if I if I squeeze your neck, you open your mouth, yeah? Squeeze your neck, and if I let go, close your mouth. So like open. All right, we'll try it. Go on, open. That's it, and close. That's it. So if I go, hello. Very good. Hello. I'm Mr. Poo-Poo Head. Ah! That's really immature. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> what things is he making me say this afternoon? See, I'm just... Okay, I've lost the words. And that's very, very handy, considering we've got a ventriloquism act next to me. So, brilliant. Sam, um, thank you very much for making me look like an idiot in front of all these people. I think you're our only daddy in the group. How are you? What's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Mike. Mike. And who have you got with you, Mike? I've got my son, Tommy. Tommy. How are you, Tommy? He's eating his hand at the moment. You've attended Shine Water Park Fun Day 2014. Uh, we really appreciate you coming down, of course. Um, and, and what do you make of it? How did you find it? Well, first of all, I can see that an enormous amount of work has had to go into this. I reckon it must take the whole year to get this together. And what I like about it is the fact that there are so many things for the folk in your local community to come and do. Shines here in China. Yeah. That's a sort of cheesy <laughs> That's remark there for you. <laughs> <laughs> busier than we anticipated and we've had loads of people say to us that it's been the biggest and the best event yet. Congratulations to Harvey who's just won the uh, apparently the best puppy competition. Biggest puppy I've ever seen in my life but there you go. Type of breed for you. Thank you very much Sam. Well, it's, it's a bit manic today isn't it with everything going on. Absolutely. How, uh, how excited have you been to see all these dogs here today? Very, very nice dogs. It's been a really hard job. But my best in show is the puppy. This is very You've chosen your best in show and it's the St Bernard. Yeah. Now look, he tells me he's a puppy. Right. But it's huge. <laughs> That's his breed. Okay, so it is just down to the fact that it's his breed rather than anything else, of course. So. It's very nice. Very nice boy. Fantastic. Congratulations to the St. Bernard over here, who has won the Best in Show award. Congratulations to all of the other classes who have also taken part and all their awards this afternoon. Well done to you and uh, congratulations to them. Thank you for all the people that have taken part the, uh, this afternoon as well. Um, I feel like I need to lie down, there's so much going on this afternoon. But congratulations to all of these dogs. I think I might go and join him and uh, lie down because I'm a bit tired now. Yes. Thank you very much. How do you feel the event went? Excellent. I'm really, really, really pleased. Although we didn't have the weather, it was a really, really good day. Um, must have had about 1,500, 2,000 people. And what I love is the fact that the kids were getting up on the stage and performing and everybody stayed around to watch, you know. That really makes a difference for the kids to have a nice big crowd. Do you think it's important events like this for the local community? This is what I became a councillor for. It's all about getting the community together, doing all the stuff that we should be doing as a community. 
um, and just getting out and meeting new people. And, and I, was, I was just listening to a conversation now, and uh, somebody was saying, it's really great meeting you, um, we'll get together at another point. And, and that's what that's all about. For me, it's, it's about getting the community back together again, you know, sort of creating that community spirit, looking after each other, sort of having fun with each other. And, uh, and that's why we put the event on.